It is summer in the Netherlands at the moment. Yeah, beautiful weather with some wind. Uh, I would say um, it's uh, this weather for the last five to ten days and we are enjoying it to the fullest, that is for sure. Of course Lady Lieselotte is on anchor and uh, whilst I was pouring out my cup of coffee I remembered that two weeks ago I published this video about me driving Lady Lieselotte towards Leiden in poor visibility. It was a thick fog or perhaps you could say you could not see any fog because of the fog. Yes. So I suggest that we continue that journey towards Leiden because I have created some beautiful footage for sure. So let's pause the video. Ooh, there's some wind. Let's pause the video, grab something to drink and join me in this video. How about that then? Wow, come on. We passed the bridge and then I do not need for at least uh, until the next bridge, I do not need my, uh, uh, two engines, so I switch off one. So I will continue on my port engine. How about visibility? 250 meters still. And the speed is uh, 9 kilometers at the moment. So um, we relax. Easy go, easy go. Audiometering, Lady Lieselot. Audiometering. Ja, goedemorgen. Vanaf uh, Lijmuiden op uh, 300 meter afstand met de vraag voor een opening. Hey, houden we over die baan. Dankjewel. Within uh, 350 meters we have another bridge. Okay, I switch on my starboard engine also. Just for maneuverability. It's a complete other world than when you have complete visibility, don't you agree? Nevertheless, it also brings some, uh, what's the word, uitdaging in, in Dutch. Some trickiness. Ah, there, okay, the bridge is opening already. I did not see the barriers go down because of the visibility. Uh, here we go. Quick wave for the operator. They have mirror windows. <laughs> so I cannot see if he sees me. But at least the moment that he does, it's a him because I heard his voice. Uh, the moment that he does, he sees me wave and thank him. Um, okay, then I can switch off the starboard engine and continue on one engine. I had uh, I had it run, running on uh, 1450 RPM. I still have my jacket on. And I did not switch the heating on because I thought, well, perhaps I have to go out. But yeah, uh, for the next coming, well, how long does it take? I say two hours. Uh, I will not go, go out anymore, I hope, I hope. So I switch on the heating. Close the door from the wheelhouse and then I will sit back and relax a little bit more than I did 
last hour already. You still like it? Are you still with me? On this very, very special journey through the canals of the Netherlands. Okay, we have another bridge. Let's see if the operator sees me. This bridge is uh, operated on distance by the guy in the bridge we just passed. That was just by campus. He's a guy I recognize. He was uh, yesterday. He was in the harbor uh, working on a, a boat from a neighbor, and now I see him here. So it was a spontaneous hello. How are you? Less visibility. I had approximately 300 meters on the other <laughs> on the other side of the bridge, and now it is well back to 125, I guess. So let's ease a little. Have a look, we have a cable ferry in front of us. On, uh, on starboard side we have an, uh, an island uh, called Kaag Island. And um, the farmers on that island, they have, I believe, three cable ferries on several uh, points of course on the uh, on the aisle and there is one um, motor ferry for all the cars uh, but this one is a cable uh, a ferry and there is a farmer who wants to cross the canal The visibility is still 125, 150 meters. Um, it uh, decreased um, the moment that we came close to this uh, Kaag Island, this this isle, this island, and there is a lot more water around it, and also perhaps the temperature has dropped. So. That is probably the reason why we have less visibility and it's uh, colder, much colder. But yeah, okay. Still, I can uh, proceed with uh, six, seven, eight kilometers per hour. But you have to be careful for sure.
At the moment we are on the Kager Plassen. It is a fresh water lake with all kinds of isles within it. I can see on my chart plotter again the circles. So I know that I have 125 meters of visibility. But nevertheless I have started my foghorn. <laughs> There is no AIS target on my plotter whatsoever, but nevertheless, well, if you have seen my video from the IJsselmeer where I have a visibility of 400 meters and then I come in a fog bank, this is the same situation. I just sound the horn that if there are boats, fishermen or whatever people who want to boat right now, without AIS, then at least they hear me and then <laughs> all of a sudden <laughs> whoa they see me coming <laughs> on my chart plotter I pointed the cursor to a point that I need to go to and I have a bearing of 235 degrees. It's the entrance for a canal towards Leiden. Well, and Almost there, two, three, six, that will do. So I switch on my autopilot, check, check, double check. Two hundred and thirty-one, it says, the bearing. Okay, and now I... I am interrupted by the horn and now I can uh, just focus on visibility because the boat is steering herself. Um, 1150 rpm, speed is six and a half kilometers, 
three, four nautical miles. Four knots. Okay, -o, let's have a look. Let's have a look. There is a sailboat. Well, there is no mast on it, but it has a shape of a sailboat. I'm lucky that I have my horn on and he's moving away. Let's see if, I, if he needs help because it looks a little bit sh shabby. Have you heard now that? No, I am alright. Alright then. I am alright. And then here, let me start the camera. Also, here is a farmer who rows from shore towards his farmhouse. I am uh, on the canal now, visibility still is poor and on my chart plotter I see a barge approaching. The ship is called Jacobus. And there she is on the screen already. Okay, we are in Leiden. I will oh. Ah, there you are. I have to keep everything in control. The bridge, channel 22. Zeilbrug, Lady Lieselot. In the meanwhile, start the engine. Ja, Zeilbrug, Lady Lieselot vanaf de plas met de vraag voor een opening. Dankjewel. Um, als ik zo meteen nog door de Spanjaardbrug ga, dan graag. Ik ga namelijk naar uh, S tegenover de watertoren. Dankjewel. Oké, okay, they will open this bridge for, my, for, for me. For me, for me. Mij is Dutch. And then he asked, what is your destination? So I told him I was heading for the boatyard. Um, and they always ask you that in the Leiden area, so that they know what bridges they have to open for you. Because uh, you can go into the center, or you can go straight on towards uh, The Hague. Um, another big city or you can go to port and then go to Alphen aan den Rijn another city so it's always good for them to know what your destination is so that they keep can keep an eye on you via AIS and uh, know when to operate the bridges Switch on the video management system. Well, 
two cameras were already running. The port one was not uh, yet recording. Okay, the barriers are down for the next bridge, which is my last bridge before I am at the boatyard. It is opening now, so I can speed up a little. Let's have a look. No AIS targets on my screen. If you have seen my video on the small canals of Haarlem, you have seen a lot of houseboats. And also over here, we you have a canal packed with houseboats. And now I have to find out where I can moor. even before I install the fenders. Let's have a look. Let's see how much room I have here. The lady from the houseboat already uh, came uh, and had to have a look. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Yes, complete different weather than which I experience now at the moment, that is for sure. I stayed for uh, two weeks in the boatyard and uh, we did some repair on the generator and both my Perkins engines. Well, if you liked this video, please give me the thumbs up. The channel really appreciates it and needs it for its growth and the algorithm. And uh, for now, I would say thank you very much for joining me aboard Lady Lisa Lot. And do I see you in the next video? All right then, bye bye.